On Saturday, when I got bored of trying to work on the glasses front, I started making rings. I showed this ring in the last video, and I mentioned that I put it on some just wire to wear it around my neck. On Sunday, I modeled and printed some other shapes. I made one in the white resin. I'm not a huge fan of the final result. I don't like the color or texture. I explored a couple spiky designs like this, and like this, and this rounded design, which I think might be fun to play with around your finger as you wear it. They turned out like this. The spikes are more subtle than anticipated. This one came out kind of rough. And while the round one feels all right, it's not very smooth to the touch, although it looks good. And I sized it improperly, so it's much too big. It sort of fits on this finger. I wore them around my neck on a wire because they were curing for 24 hours and I thought it would be better if they weren't touching my skin. Metal wire doesn't make the best necklace. So I went to this bead store yesterday. I realized that I liked wearing the necklaces, but I should try putting a camera in one of them instead of just a ring on a string. I'm thinking about this as making the jump from camera glasses to camera jewelry. I checked out some of the chains, thinking I might start with a camera pendant. I looked at thin chains in silver metal and gold also. I looked through all their clasp mechanisms too. They had some funky colors. I don't wear too much jewelry, so I tried a few things on to see how they looked. I figure a camera pendant's going to require a thick chain. I came back to the lab and started modeling a little enclosure for the camera to wear around your neck. I stacked up all the necessary components, took some measurements, and printed a first iteration of the design. The battery and voltage regulator fit like so, and the Raspberry Pi Zero and camera fit in the other side. There's an aperture for the camera. I bought a smaller PowerBoost 500C, which has enough capacity for the Pi Zero. I read online that the Pi Zero only draws 230 milliamp hours, even when recording like 1080p video. I picked up these clasps, these rings, chain, some string, these clasps, and a few of these rings, which I'm gonna to use to hold the pendant, hopefully. Today I'm gonna to continue work on the enclosure and see where it goes. It's seven o'clock. I spent the day modeling a new version of the heart camera jewelry enclosure. I decided to add this new component, a wireless Qi charger, which lets you charge a device with this inductive pad. The Qi charger changes the dimensions of the heart enclosure, so I spent the afternoon remodeling that. In the end, it should include the Qi charger, the battery, the power boost, and the Pi over here, and the camera. And then it'll be attached with this chain and a hole like that. I collected some measurements, redesigned the case from scratch as I had some problems with the timeline in my original model. I read up a little bit on snap fit joints. Here are some examples. And I took a swing at designing my own press fit joints, which you can see here. Correction, snap fits temporarily deform a feature and then it goes back to a position of rest, whereas press fits permanently deform the feature. Hopefully they'll fit with these tabs on the bottom half of the case. I'm printing the job now and it'll be ready tomorrow morning so I can see if it fits. I think that's it for today. See ya.